of my mouth. Today's mission, find the fun, poly style. Turn it up. Hello, welcome back to Retro 70s Kid. Polly Pocket. Now, not the one you're thinking of. Um, Polly Pocket started off by Bluebird in 1983 and they were the little tiny, tiny little dolls, the little clamshell play sets. They had an extensive range and it was very, very popular. And that went on till about 97-ish. And then Mattel bought it in 99 and changed the size of the dolls. To, what are they three inches or something and um, I'm not sure and it brought out an incredible range of play sets I only have a few now I started off with Polly Pocket because little Indiana who uh, is 11 now when she was five I got her her first Polly Pocket sets when they were in the reject shop and they were like seven and eleven dollars for these really great fashion packs and stuff with multiple dolls got her though she loved them so whenever I went to car boots I would collect things that I found and ended up with a pretty big collection and now she's 11 she's a bit over it but I've still got them all so I thought I'd show you because they're pretty amazing and they're quite collectible now so to start with I'll start with the incredible vehicles and then I'll get to this incredible stackable room set which is the whole nine piece set almost complete so where are we going to start we've got basic ones like this cute little safari set doesn't really do anything it's got a couple of dolls in it I don't know what line that, it probably had a sunroof. Now, this one here, this is an amazing convertible limo. Now, it does have dolls in it. See, there's a spa in the back with some of the ones with hair and actually bendable knees. They might have been the dancing ones, I'm not sure. They're both similar. And I'll take her out as well. Now there is a DJ thing in the back, the spa, and it converts, if you just bear with me for a sec, well, you get the idea, into this cute little thing and then it converts out, and how did it, does this one make music? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so then it just gives that. But the sweet swivel, swivel, and yeah. Ouch! <laughs> and I think the, well, the back seats are out now. I don't know if they're supposed to be, but that's it all squashed up. <laughs> Now, this is another limo. Now, who does this look like? This is my Polly Pocket Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> Am I right, ladies? <laughs> Doesn't it look like it? Now, this one just opens up there. And there's some sort of a, oh, there's another seat there. But it doesn't make noises, but it's pretty cool. A bit of a glitter effect. And here are some other dolls which have hair. 
And I don't know what line, but that's a really nice Polly Pocket line with real hair. There's a few of those. And this range here is, I don't know what they're called, but they were came with umbrellas, like rainy day ones or something. And these are one of the later lines. As you can see, there's some other ones in that line. Beautiful colours with those rubbery dresses which uh, slip on and off. And when they get a bit of age to them, and if they're not stored correctly, they do become brittle and start to split. So just be careful of that. And then moving on to this, I don't know what this is. I think it might be in some sort of an ice cream stand. I'm not sure, but I just got that as it is. It's got a handle. It's like a San Francisco trolley, but I'm not really sure, but there's a doll in that with hair. And I'm trying to make room. This is just another cute one with art supplies in the back. So, oops, that's a easel. And a blanket. And a cute ice chest. Which has got, what's it got in it? Stuff! Oh, it's got like a cardboard burger. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a little miniature placemat with food on it, I think. And there's a little bottle, there's a little art. What's that called? A paint palette? A little mobile phone. It's really cute. I've forgotten all about that. And then, coming around here, this is a part of, of a, there were different um, parts of this set you could buy individually. And this is like, a, I think part of the shopping mall, and this is a shop with clothes and accessories. It's quite beautiful with the chains and the chandelier. Now, moving on to this incredible stackable room set. This is from the side of the box and you can stack these rooms any way. You can have them individually or you can have them right on top of each other or you can have them like this or around in a circle and there's all these amazing different rooms and this is this is 99% complete. I think there's only one or two little things missing and you've got up here you've got the DJ um, disco room. You've got is that Rick? With his headphones, he's got a laptop, speakers, and that's his. They've all got pets, and he's got a, I'm guessing it's a hamster. We'd call it a guinea pig. And the mirror ball, retro 70s kid mirror ball, and the lights, it's very, very cool. And down here is a, because they're all big on pets, and they've all got pets in every room, this is like a, a what do you call it, a tropical bamboo room? Because you've got the monkey, and you've got the, like, toucan thing. And the, the bananas, canopy bed, and there is clothes in that, and that's the girl that comes with that room. And then there's another bedroom, well, a change room here. We've got a wardrobe with stuff in it, mirror, and there's a dressing table, a little chair, and she's got a bunny and this cute rug and a little Easter basket. And each room has attached a balcony as well, which can take off, it slides in, or you can use them. Then there's another, this is a rock chick's bedroom. That's the girl that comes with this bedroom. It's very good rock and roll. Look at the bed, it's got the guitar. And the dressing table nightstand is a drum kit. With her accessories, laptop, another drum bedside table. You've got her guitar her bag on a hanger there, speakers on the wall. Coming down to the games room, the jukebox, a pinball machine that actually works. And that's a little games table, which flips around and it's got different, two different games on it and two funky little chairs to sit on. And I don't know if you can get this beautiful kitchen. You've got the fridge which opens up and it's got stuff in it. There's center island, there's plates and cutlery. It does open, it might be tricky. This was a freaking pain in the butt to put together. <laughs> I was so stressed. Wasn't I, producer? 
If it wasn't for producer, this would have been scattered across the floor in a million pieces. It nearly was. Nah. And then there's a little stove with a little rack in it. Little tiny stuff, the cupboards open up. And that's the little dog there. And that's the girl that comes in that room. Indy loved this. She still loves it, but she won't play with it, but she won't let me get, a, get rid of it. So I have to store it. And then going around, you've got the spa sauna, well not sauna, spa area, and barbecue area, you've got the barbecue. Now that swivels and there's steaks on it. Can you just swivel that? Yeah. That's got steaks and some tongs, well, hamburgers, and some plants and a turtle, tortoise. And some plants and a ball and a sun hat. And some of them came with uh, extra outfits too, which are usually there, which are there in the cupboards, I think. Then down to the um, next bedroom, which is the cat's bedroom. Little bedroom, little cat for the bed, little, I mean, bed for the cat. <laughs> Stuff, accessories, little dish and a ball of yarn. Oh, she's fallen over. This is a cute bathroom. Yeah, she's blue tack there to try and... And there's a bathtub with a, what do you call it? Those little ladder things across to put your book on. And it's got a shower curtain, little toilet, little sink and a dog. It's a little slippers. They've all got shoes on, little shoes. The shoes are amazing. And did that, did I do everything? That's everything. So that's Polly Pocket. I do have a few other sets, but they're in my garage sale stuff because I wasn't expecting to do this now. But um, I do have the Polly Pocket Hotel with the roller coaster. And there is a, a cake sweet shop cafe thing that folds open and it's also a ballet, ballet studio. So I haven't got, I've got them but I can't show them and there's some other things there. But um, this is main, most of it. And just at the back here is just some little Polly Pocket carrying cases sets. This was a hip styling stage and that kind of folds out and sits up but that's full of accessories and clothing and stuff. And I don't know what these are but I've pulled these heads off and put them on Polly Pocket bodies and they're really funky. And just some other cases as well, I think that's the same. The little thing over. That's what all these usually go in. So uh, yeah, Indy's collection of Polly Pocket. Very, very collectible now, and it's really hard to get them with all their pieces because they came with so many little pieces and little tiny accessories, which I'm sure many, many children choked on. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. So yeah, that's a cute little collection. So thank you for joining me, just a short one tonight, even though it took me hours to put together. Um, thank you, don't forget to like and subscribe and keep up to date for more interesting, amazing little shows that I do. And thank you and good night. See you home. Oh, it's a very... Roll, uh, uh, uh. What's it called? Um, um. <sighs> Just go on, the bitch. Oh! It's a very. Rolls. Uh, uh, uh. Rolls. Uh, uh. Oh! It's a very. <laughs> um, um. <laughs>